New tonight, a car stolen from a Suffolk gas station with a six year old girl inside. A terrified parent as the minutes ticked by. This happened at 6.30 this morning, but 15 minutes later, by 6.45, officers had tracked down that car in Franklin. They arrested the suspect and safely returned the child to her father. How were they able to solve this case so quickly? Technology. Suffolk officials tell us a device called Flock Safety Cameras helped in that case. And tonight, News 3 going in depth on this technology, one that's continuing to make its mark across Hampton Roads and that law enforcement are calling a game changer. News 3 anchor Zach Dahlheimer joining us now after talking with law enforcement and officials with Flock Safety Cameras. Zach, this sounds like quite the high-tech crime-finding tool. Yeah, it is, Kurt. It's a very interesting piece of technology. And according to Norfolk Police Chief Mark Talbot, these communities here in blue are ones that have Flock already up and running. You see all across Hampton Roads. Meanwhile, these two others in yellow are ones that Talbot says Port Portsmouth and Virginia Beach. These are communities that are having Flock installed. Now, tonight, we're getting a snapshot into how these cameras work and success, success rate with police here in Hampton Roads. I want to see it safe. Lisa Myers is a pastor at this church at the Suffolk Isle of Wight County line. For her, safety is top of mind. I'm always concerned um, on a Sunday morning. You know, we could be very vulnerable. Lately, she's noticed cameras like these, flock safety cameras aimed at helping tackle crime to get answers for police quickly. It's just a, a motion activated camera and it's just taking pictures of cars as the cars pass by this location. So it's still pictures it's taken. It is still taking still pictures. Captain Tommy Potter with the Isle of Wight County Sheriff's Office says six cameras are placed throughout the county. That camera is another tool in my tool belt. It's gaining a fuller picture of the crime. Flock spokeswoman Holly Balin says these cameras use software to identify license plate numbers and letters and find other features of a car like its color, make and aftermarket parts and can compare a license plate to different state and national crime databases. It's able to determine whether that vehicle is known to be a stolen vehicle associated with a wanted offender or associated with a missing person and then flag that vehicle in an alert for local law enforcement. All within a few seconds of the car passing by. When folks cross over into different jurisdictions, this actually allows law enforcement to coordinate their efforts. For Potter, they've seen results from this tool, finding stolen vehicles and answers to homicide cases. One recent example being Honesty Selby, a Williamsburg teen whose body was found in the county back in January. Potter says flock camera data helped lead to charges in the case against Andarius McClellan. We were able to put that vehicle into the flock system and we were able to follow that vehicle at different places throughout Hampton and Newport News and then eventually crossing over the James River Bridge, coming into Isle of Wight County at a certain time, and all that information was used in the investigative process. Meanwhile, the ACLU is raising concerns about Flock, writing, quote, the police do not need records of every person's coming and goings, including trips to doctor's offices, religious institutions, and political gatherings. We asked Balin about privacy concerns. If that image of a particular license plate is never used in the investigation of a crime, it's completely gone after 30 days automatically. And one other thing, flock officials say their cameras don't have facial recognition and are not video cameras that are tracking people. Flock officials also say they include safeguards that allow for transparency and accountability. These include easy to pull auditing reports and required search justifications every time law enforcement performs a search with cameras. Zach Dahlheimer, News 3.